Hello, and welcome to Trufon Bay, my busy little engaged layout set fictitiously on the North Cornish coast, somewhere between Newquay and Wadebridge, and covering, very roughly, the period 1958 to 1965. The Great Western was the first railway to reach Trepaul Bay in the late 1800s, when that company built a freight-only branch from just south of Newquay to exploit the goods traffic from the harbour. Not wishing to be outdone, the London and South Western Railway extended their line west from Weybridge to reach Trepaul Bay in 1906. The Southern being eager to tap into the growing tourist potential of the area. By 1910, the Great Western and the LSWR agreed joint running rights for the line east and west of Trepaul Bay, allowing through trains from Exeter, North Devon, North Cornwall to Truro and Penzance. And right into the 1960s, the line, was, the line still witnessed a wide variety of ex-Southern and Great Western steam locomotives, together with the odd Southern standard type newfangled diesels and even one or two surprises. Now let's take a look at some typical train movements. First, a Battle of Britain Pacific heads through non-stop with a train for Wavebridge. Followed by a D65XX Crompton rushing by with a train of logs. And a stranger in the camp. An Ivet Mobile with a mixed freight headed for Wavebridge. Special working from Penzance to Exeter, headed by an ex Great Western Manor and a Grange. North Cornwall Line locomotive in the form of an XSR N-Class Mobile. And an 08 Shunter drops down the harbour incline. Standard class 4 tank with a train of loaded mineral wagons. A bubble car forms the way bridge to Newquay local. A D63XX hydraulic with a local goods bound for Truro.
And another typical North Cornwall line locomotive in the form of a T9, with a train from Penn, Maine via Weybridge. XX Pannier and the B set destined for Newquay. A class 33 diesel rumbles through with a motley collection of wagons filled with scrap metal. Thank you. 